Well, we've said it before and we were lying to you because tonight is officially the biggest game of the 2021 Born Braves season. Welcome into a pregame Tomahawk Talk. Calvin Cristoforo, Reeves Jackson, and Daniel Coates. It's game three of the West Division Finals here at Doran Park between the Born Braves and the Ketuit Kettleers. And Reeves, I'll start with you because when we're filming this, we're 90 minutes before first pitch, and two things are happening. The first is the crowd is starting to fill in down this third baseline with Braves fans putting up their chairs. But the second thing is they don't know who they're going to see on the mound. Still a TBD for the Braves tonight, whether it's Jake Bennett, the lefty, getting the ball, or Matt Jasic, the right-hander, making his second appearance of the year, getting the ball. What do you expect to see on the mound? And give me a preview of one of those guys were to start. It's honestly a great question. I think everyone's <laughs> still wondering who we're going to see. I heard some rumblings that it might be Matt Jasic on the mound today. But whoever starts, expect a very short leash, obviously. Maybe two, three innings if they get into trouble or if they're like Austin Parsley last night and they're cruising, well, then they're going to keep going, obviously. It's pretty, pretty simple. But if they get into some trouble, maybe just one, maybe just two runs, expect maybe a short leash for either of those guys. But... What you can expect from each guy for Jacek, just his second start in a Born Braves uniform, but the first one that came against the Katuit Kettleers team on the second to last game of the regular season. It was the regular season home finale here. Six innings of five hit, one run baseball. Didn't walk any, struck out four. And it with the longest distance of any Brave starter in his first appearance. Obviously he pitched in the Hamptons League, so he had some experience from Indiana State. And then the flip side of that, a big tall lefty in Jake Bennett, who we were looking at his numbers. And at times it feels like he's been a bit unlucky this year, although he hasn't given up an unearned run, but dude has been phenomenal this year. His numbers kind of popped out a little bit unexpectedly. Just a 2.89 ERA, 30 strikeouts, and three walks. So throw strikes, doesn't walk anyone. Was roughed up a little bit against Orleans, obviously, with a three-run homer from Tyler Locklear, but and his last outing was much better against the Hyannis Harbor Hawks. And for Bennett, it's just got to throw strikes. But the thing about Jake Bennett is if he starts this game, he might even relieve in this game. Got to be careful if you're Peter Burns behind the plate because Jake Bennett roughly 1.8 to 1.9 of the plate as a lefty with a big leg kick so it's a Katua team that could exploit that so it should be interesting to see who we see on the mound. Yeah well it kind of seems like a good issue to have two starters that you'll have a lot of trust in on the other side Daniel Katua is really still trying to puzzle piece together their pitching rotation we saw what they called a staff day yesterday it looks like it's going to be one of those again today so the Braves scoring 10 runs last night. How do they retake advantage of that tonight and get another crooked number on the scoreboard? It starts with setting the tone. You have to get off to a lead uh, early on in this game. The, per the, the team that has taken a lead in each time, in each two of the last games, they have ended up with the victory at the end of the day. So really it comes down to still the top of the order that uh, that Christian Napchek to Max Anderson to Dalton rushing that one two three needs to come on and go again today and really swing it towards the uh, bottom half of the order where we know that Peter Burns now can go yards so <laughs> that's always nice to know but uh, it really is just getting out to a lead early on yeah the Braves go for 10 runs last night and Christian Napchek glad you mentioned him three for four scored a run a pair of RBIs Reeves I'll go back to you if the Braves were to win this game and advance to the 2021 Cape Cod League Championship Series, this would have to happen. They have to score first. I think that we've seen that as a common trend, not only in this playoff series, but throughout the regular season between these two teams. The Bourne Braves strike first, momentum highly swings to them, especially against the Katuit pitching staff that is really laboring as far as the guys they have left. One guy to keep an eye on is Max Gig, pitcher from Boston College today. Don't know if he'll start, but very well could be out of the bullpen today. A guy who at the beginning of the year struggled, now comes into this game out of the bullpen with a 1-5 ERA. So he's been phenomenal this season, but don't know if they'll start him or try to limit maybe some damage middle to late innings if Katuit has a lead and he becomes an even more valuable weapon then. So, but for the Braves, like I said, they score first. We've seen that as a common trend, and that team is likely to win just based on what we've seen. Yeah, and Daniel, just flipping it real quick, Katuit, if they were to come in to Doran Park and win game three of this series, this would have to go wrong for the Braves. I think they'd give up the home run ball again. I really do. I think that the wind again today, if you look back behind us, it's still blowing out to center field like it always does at Doran Park, it seems. So uh, I think that if we were to lose tonight, we would be susceptible to the deep ball. Katuit had it in game one. We had it with two last night uh, at Will Park. We even saw one from Chase Grady uh, from their own. So uh, these two teams really are not strangers to hitting bombs. And I think we're going to see a couple from the winning side tonight. I think more people would say Katsu, it's Lowell Park, is more of a hitter's park. And 
Doran Park here in Bourne is more of a pitcher's park, but you're completely right. Whatever team hits the more balls out of the ballpark has a very, very good shot to win. Well, it should be a lot of fun, a fun night of baseball here at Doran Park. It'll be a raucous crowd here in Bourne. First pitch is set for six. And how about this? Nick and I will have you for a full hour of Before the Bravos, our pregame show. We'll start you off with that at 5 o'clock. We hope to see you there. But until then, as always, go Braves.